Have you guys seen MIA's new merch? Have you guys seen MIA's fashion collection? It's fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. It's actually pretty cool. It's a bit nutty, of course, but it's really fucking cool. This is courtesy of DailyDot.com. MIA drops conspiracy tin streetwear line, including a 5G blocking tin foil bucket hat. You hear that? She's made a fucking tin foil hat. <laughs> it's so fucking cool. Big up MIA. What an absolute G. So this is courtesy of the Daily Dot. Rapper MIA is launching a streetwear line to help protect against Wi-Fi, 4G and 5G from reaching your brain. MIA unveiled the line in a series of TikToks yesterday. The what's it called? The Omin the Om Omni Omni line. I guess it's Omni 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 includes a hundred dollar shiny silver bucket hat mar marketed to highlight its unique um atomic structures, which gives the electromagnetic wave deflecting powers. A two hundred dollar data protection dump bag, which includes a built in Faraday cage. How cool is that? to block all data and wi-fi connections and a 50 dollars pair of boxer shorts made from original silver street shield textiles providing protection um to the numerous risk linked with electromagnetic radiation all promising to restore people's autonomy and freedom i think this is fucking cool honestly and if you go on the website here's the information about the brand and shit it says here in a time of smart cities digital crypto ai Neuralink, hackable humans zero privacy deep mind internal body data harvesting um in indiscriminate tracking surveillance mind data mining social media overload augmented reality social credit system virtual dystopian minefield we bring you the revolutionary future of fashion omni is the last frontier of preserving your privacy autonomy and rights over your body and your data this is not your artist foray into fashion this is a necessity the armor of the modern night in the age of the modern technological warfare yo i want to wear this shit the armor of the modern night in the age of the modern technological warfare look at this gobbledygook i want to wear this shit you might think of the war zone as a far as a far away from where you are yet in 2024 even your house is a digital battlefield <laughs> she's so full of shit what your house is a digital battlefield you're warring against your remote control you're beefing <laughs> you're beefing your printer your fucking you, you, your microwave is a, is an op what omni is designed to be protective preventative and precious future backwards is are you tough future backwards is are you tough <laughs> okay okay if the conspiracy theorists are wrong good for you you own a beautiful clothes that made with pure silver and precious metals but if they are right you just might have saved the future of humanity um welcome to omni i could be a genius i could be a cheat okay let's see the actual collection itself go on the website let's see what they got here available let's let's go to the shop let's look at the products what they have available here so here's the bucket hat all right the silver bucket hat the tin foil hat it's fucking incredible by the way big up fucking mia here's the tin foil hat for a hundred dollars the item ships in one week nearly you know still in stock by the way nothing is sold out it looks like everything is still still in stock so big up the the fucking bucket hat vibes there well, can we see some more images of the bucket hat or not there we go more images of the but can we see more images or not i don't think we can no more images of the bucket hat cool okay maybe not the bucket has hundred dollars we got that there we've got a full sleeve graphic armor tee for two hundred dollars it's not cheap by the way to be you know to prevent you to kind of war with your electronics and shit you've got a silver stealth hat that's a hundred dollars t-shirts 100 everything's 200 to 100 she's not you know she's not running a charity that's for sure full shield reversible t 200 dollars full shield reversible armor t again 200 dollars the bag is probably the best thing right this dump bag and this chrome anti-trace phone case is pretty cool these are probably the best things in the entire collection the bag and that phone case but that bag is tough i'd actually wear this bag 
the bag is quite hard this data protection bag features a glistening chrome silver shell 100 100 percent pure copper lining removable shoulder strap and multiple inner and outer compartments with its unique autonomic structure copper often or copper offers exceptional electronic conductivity deflecting electromagnetic waves such as wi-fi 3g 99 shielding effectiveness made of our original silver street textiles so that's your faraday cage there in a backpack in a little bag right a little mark jacobs looking tote bag that also doubles up as a faraday cage pretty cool i'm not really mad at that i'm not gonna lie i'm not mad at it in the slightest i kind of like it i'd actually would wear that there's mia there with the bag itself next to some roses looking cute cool another angle of the bag and another angle of the bag not too bad I actually wouldn't mind the bag. I actually wouldn't mind it. It's actually kind of nutty, but I don't mind that she's dabbling into her conspiracy theory shit and getting into all this stuff that she clearly is interested in. Like, big up her. She clearly loves all this shit and she's making merch based on this stuff instead of just, like, collaborating on some other nonsense fast fashion shit. It's a bit loopy. It's a bit unnecessary. It's pretty overpriced, given what it is, but I don't mind it. I honestly don't mind it. She's even got silver trousers here. Full shield armor trousers. Protency jeans, pretty insane. What she's got here offering. What's the what's the underwear? Protective boxer shorts, fifty dollars. How did how did the boxer shorts protect you? By the way, how did the boxer shorts protect you? What did the boxer shorts have? Did they have like built-in condoms or something? Why well, go on for this? These loose fitting prote um uh proficiency sorry pro pro no potency potency boxer shorts are made using a luxurious silky four-way stretch fabric containing 80 percent pure silver to protect you and your future generations i'm not sure if you know putting silver on your nuts is a good idea i i, I don't know it feels like that's going to be the opposite of protecting you no with its unique autonomic structure silver offers exceptional why do you want to have electronic um what you call it conductivity use on your boxes though next to your nuts why would you want that i'm curious to know why people would want their nuts to deflect 3g waves or 4g waves like why well, go on for this but yeah 50 dollars by the way for one pair of boxes she's not running no charity she's not doing this shit out of the goodness of her heart that's for sure mia wants to make some money okay fair play we got some t-shirts there lux bottoms um bottoms are pretty nice the sweat bottoms but 250 dollars bottoms it's crazy so the tracksuit is 500 dollars fucking hell fucking hell she's not playing protective wrist pouch is pretty nice i don't mind the little um waist bag that's pretty cool 100 dollars is a pretty expensive protective leggings 200 dollars oh it's not cheap man it's not fucking cheap she definitely is trying to make a buck here. But again, I don't mind it because it's definitely shit that she's spoken about ad nauseum. And I'd like to see that she's got it and what she's got going on. Actually, considering Terrence Howard was recently on Rogan, I would actually like to see... I'd, I'd prefer to see MIA sit down with Terrence Howard than see Terrence Howard try to prove that he's not a psycho by sitting down with Eric Weinstein. Because we know he's crazy, right? That, that Eric Weinstein video or that Eric Weinstein episode where he's debunking all of Terrence Howard, you know, loopy mathematics and shit and scientific, you know, discoveries is a bit of a, you know, it's a bit lame, really. I kind of know that he's insane. But that's why we fucking love and enjoy him. I'd actually prefer her to see him sit down maybe with MIA. That actually might be a really good conversation. You know, that actually might be um, mind expanding, especially when she talks about record labels and all the stuff that they've done to her over the years. I actually would love to see that. She was on Tim Pool recently, actually. Really, I actually enjoyed that. She was on Tim Pool recently, weirdly enough, MIA. Um, kind of a cool interview. Tim Pool came across a really corny, as did the other guests and shit. But she seems to tune into and like to watch Tim Pool. I wonder if she watches Rogan. I actually would love to see her on Rogan. I'm not going to lie. I really would. But big up, MIA. Um, if you want to check it out, the website is ohmini.com. It's om Omni Omni. I think that's how you pronounce it. Really cool shit. I actually wouldn't mind wearing some of it, but some of it is a little bit overpriced for me personally. But I don't mind seeing what she put out there. I really don't mind seeing what she put out there. So big up, big up the one and only MIA.